All right, this is Thomas Us Reed from Tyology here interviewing Genesis the Great Kid. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Just you know, be honest, be upfront, say how you feel. Gotcha. All right, so my first question is, how did you come up with your name? Your name is Genesis the Great Kid, and like, I guess it's like very abstract. I can't think of any way you came up with that name. So like, how did you come up with that name for yourself? Um, my old boy Joe, he kind of gave me the name Genesis because he felt like um, I was just doing something different than than what was typical in our neighborhood and around the time. He thought I was starting something that was unique, so he gave me the name Genesis. And Great Kid kind of came along when I was finding other people that kind of use art to express the world around them. Mm -hmm. I guess I ran into more people like that, so. The name just kind of made sense to put together. Yeah. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so so you had these mixtapes. You have this. Yeah, the third one just came out like with this week, last week. Uh, yeah, like last week. Last week. Why you name them, uh, Gray Skies? Um, I like gray. <laughs> <laughs> that's like your favorite gray, color. So I named it Gray Skies. That's dope. That's dope. I like skies too. I mean, because <laughs> <laughs> you just put them together. Put I them put together. them together. I like gray. I like skies. I think gray is a real symbolic kind of color anyway. Like it, I don't know. It just it gives me a good. I get a good energy from it. I know it's more of a shade. But yeah. I just I get a good vibe from from that color gray. I think it symbolizes a lot. And if the subject matters that I talk about can fall under a color. I think a lot of them would be that 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 shade, like dark blues and grays and stuff like that. I don't know why. It's just just the vibe, I guess. I don't know. That's what's up. That's what's up. I feel like color, color is important. Color can't uh, change the mood at any given time, you know. So yeah, that definitely can relate to that. Relate to that. Ah, relate to that. So what inspires you? Because you're a uh, the way you rap is completely different than how most people do it. So what inspires you as an artist, poet, and uh, also rap-wise? Um, that's a good question. Um, just life, things around me, um, other poets, T.S. Eliot and, and Frost and those guys, but just day-to-day -day things, things that I see in life, things that I go through, all of that kind of inspires me to to write the material I write. Everything pretty much comes from something, so. Right. You know. That's what's up, thank you. Oh, I got another question for you. How did you get associated with uh, Creative Control? Because uh, I first heard of you, it was through Creative Control. And big shout yeah, out to them too. Yeah, that's like, that's like my family. Um, Christoph, he made the introduction, he introduced me to the Dame Dash. And um, over at DD172, right, right. that's where they used to be at. And um, then I met with Kudi and Chike. They own Creative Control TV. Right. And, and Chike kind of clicked. Like, I see him like an older brother when it comes to this music and stuff like that because um, he's helped me out a lot. He's given me a lot of wisdom. So that's like fam. Like, anywhere I go, any label situation I get with or... Any anything that I'm doing in music, they're always there. They always be like an entity, a part of what I'm doing because they they legitimately have my best interests at hand That's at all times. So, like, how much how much have they helped you? Like, what way have they helped you as far as like your growth? Um, they helped me to kind of think more as a. I've already had a big creative side to me, but. They show me the the business end of it and how to do things yourself, not having to depend on a lot of people. Figuring out that money really isn't real. Like you, there's a lot you can do in relationships, and um, amongst a, amongst a, a million other things, I'm sure I'm I'm, I'm forgetting. But <laughs> yeah, they they they've helped me a lot, and they've shown my music really reach. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of the right people. I mean, it's I don't have any videos with like 
a hundred million views, but I think there's a there's a solid connection with the people that do come across my music, right? And the demographics that they're able to reach, and so, I yeah they. I don't know. I couldn't. I can't thank them enough. I can't thank them enough. It was they. They've done a lot in my book. So is that feel like quant quality over quantity? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's dope. So, uh, I don't know if I should ask this question. What is in your future, as you know right now? Well, I know you just dropped the mixtape. Uh, part three is Grey Skies. So, what, what else is next from Grey Kid? Um, that's a great question. Another good question. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, um, good laughs. <laughs> okay. Um, and continuing to write. I just, I want to get more into a creative capacity. I want to create, I have a partner over here, Juan, he's a consultant, and I want to get more into these creative roles where I'm not just creating music, maybe I can create a culture, maybe I can create um, some tangible idea that was made out of nothing. It was an idea on a napkin, and we created and linked these relationships together, and now we have this dope thing happening at an art gallery. Like, right. I just want to be behind a lot of different creative, creative processes. So, I don't know. I'm gonna always make music, but I, I want to get more into creating like a lot of things. I don't know. That's that's that's, 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 a, good, that's a good answer though. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people limit themselves to just doing one thing, and that's it. So it's definitely good to hear that you're just trying to branch out and touch as many things as possible. You know. Yeah, yeah, I like I like creative, man. I'm a creator. Yeah. Music kind of popped off in that avenue, but I'm a creator at heart. I like to create whatever. That's what's up. That's, that's definitely what's up. Uh, give me one second. I gotta stop this video.